Assistant Secretary of State for Energy Transformation of the United States of America and members of your entourage, the Chief Executive Officers of various banks and financial institutions here present, and the Chief Executive Officers of various businesses, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Captains of Industries, our development partners and distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to start my remark by extending the sincere greetings and felicitations of Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan J. Serval, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President would have liked to be here with us this morning, but for the exigencies of his office, and has directed me to represent him on this important occasion, and therefore read his message. This International Conference on Power Sector and Infrastructure Financing is a very important one. I am pleased that among this distinguished audience are experts, investors, and chief executives of leading local and international financial institutions. Your presence in this conference is a clear indication of your continued confidence in the Nigerian economy and the great opportunities it holds for investors. The power sector is very critical to the attainment of our national development goals. Our commitment to the principle of greater service delivery in this sector remains strong and unshakable, giving its strategic importance to the development of our country. Today, our uh, per capita electricity generation is still low and this cannot propel us toward the realization of our national development targets. We must fundamentally reorganize the power sector to improve performance as well as increase our generation capacity to meet both industrial and domestic needs of our nation. The reform of the power sector was therefore conceptualized as one of the drivers of our transformation agenda and the cornerstone of our overall national development plan. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as a demonstration of our resolve to effectively address the challenges facing the power sector in our country, the first phase of the power sector privatization effort, the legacy generation and distribution companies of PHCN were handed over to the new private owners on November 1st, 2013. This symbolic milestone ended three years of concerted efforts by all stakeholders and our partners from around the world in the implementation of the Presidential Roadmap on Power, which I launched in August 2010. In relation to this, the 10 National Integrated Power Projects, NIPP, with an estimated output of 4,700 megawatts, which had been under construction, are substantially completed. The process toward the privatization of these plants is expected to be completed by December 2014. Beyond the transformation of power sector, the benefits of these reforms will speed up the development of our national economy. It will contribute massively in our industrialization, provide a higher GDP, improve standard of living, youth employment, and social security for our people. I strongly believe the private sector is better suited for effectively mobilizing and managing the huge capital required for constant and affordable power supply to all Nigerians. 
despite the initial pessimism of some of our foreign partners when we started our divestment program in the power sector, our confidence in the Nigerian private sector remains firm and strong. It seems from the resilience, vibrancy, foresight and courage of the Nigerian business community. Indeed, the enterprise, creativity and patriotism of our business community have kept virtually all sectors of our national economy strong, versatile and progressive. I salute your commitment in this regard. Our administration will continue to promote the private sector as a critical component of our country's economic development agenda. And this is why key private sector operators have always been part of our official delegation to most international engagements. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, under our National Integrated Infrastructure Master Plan, substantial amounts are required for our infrastructural development efforts in the next 30 years, covering 2014 to 2045. The energy sector alone needs an infusion of about 900 billion US dollars during this period. Of this, a significant percentage is expected to come from the private sector. The power sector alone needs about $10 billion for capex of generation and distribution companies in the next few years to enable us add 5,000 megawatts to the national grid. Similarly, our transmission grid requires an annual investment of about $1.5 billion for the next five years to ensure its reliability and stability. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, has commenced the aggressive implementation of the expansion blueprint by leveraging funds from both appropriation, financial and multilateral partners institutions. The federal government is also undertaking new investments in coal to power, as well as in renewable energy such as solar, wind, and hydropower plants, and also in major gas infrastructure. This infusion of resources from other sources will go a long way in fully realizing these efforts. Besides power, we are also making huge investments to meet our other infrastructural needs, including our road networks, telecommunication, railway, seaports, water resources, waterways, aviation, housing, and so on. Government alone cannot fund the infrastructural need in Nigeria. Today's global economy requires the active involvement and sustained contributions of all stakeholders especially the organized private sector. This conference, therefore, comes at an appropriate time. The opportunities for foreign direct investment and returns in Nigeria are attractive. Our economy is growing stronger every day. I therefore hope that this conference will come up with practicable funding strategies for the power sector. I also hope that it will devise strategies to unlock the much needed capital for wider infrastructural development. Aware that sufficient power holds the key to our economic prosperity, I would like to call on the new operators in the power sector to redouble their efforts in providing effective, stable power supply to all Nigerians. You must realize that Nigerians are eagerly expecting you to go to the extra mile in ensuring that the visible and appreciable results are seen by the end of June this year. This is possible, and I am confident that you all shall meet 
these challenges. The delivery of stable and effective power supply to Nigerians is a sacred promise I made and I cannot deliver less. It is a task that must be done. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to formally declare this International Conference on Power Sector and Infrastructure Financing open. I wish you all successful deliberations.